Well, Johnny Cash is a legend in the city of Folsom, and last night the city council took steps to honor the famous singer with a series of public art sculptures. Yeah, this is going to be pretty cool. Tonight we're getting answers on where you're going to be able to find them and what they're going to look like. The site near the Rainbow Bridge in the city of Folsom will soon become a tribute to the late singer Johnny Cash. A seven foot tall sculpture of a guitar pick will be placed here. A piece of art tells a story. It brings conversation to light. Tom Hellman with the city of Folsom says it's the first of eight sculptures that will be dedicated to the man in black. And people can come here to hear that story and also understand a little bit of the history of Johnny's time here in 1968. That's the year Johnny Cash performed a live concert inside Folsom State Prison and recorded a multi-platinum album there. The artwork will be placed along a 2.5 mile stretch of trail named after the singer that runs past the prison walls. People will be able to walk the line and learn about the singer's history. As you're walking along the trail and you're not expecting, the next thing you know, boom, there's that beautiful piece and it's going to create an opportunity for people to engage with the art as they're enjoying the trail itself. There will be a total of two picks, one at each end of the trail. The bronze sculptures are being crafted by Romo Studios in Sacramento and the art says he chose that long lasting metal for a specific reason. With an individual like Johnny, whose music has withstood uh, time and it's every generation has rediscovered it, bronze is the fitting material to, to tell that story. The Johnny Cash Trail is already one of the most popular recreation spots in town. We see upwards of 12,000 visitors a month on this trail. And many who regularly use the path like the artwork idea. I think it's awesome. I love this community and uh, the recognition that John, they do for Johnny Cash here is amazing. Yeah, those ties go back deep and funding for the first pick sculpture comes mostly from community donations and a state grant is paying for the majority of the second pick. Each costs just over $500,000. The first is scheduled to be installed later this year.